in terms of special relationship where your deen is in danger. I'll let you give an example. Allah says in the Quran, in Surah Baqarah, chapter number two, verse number 221, that the believing man, a Muslim, should not marry a mushrika, an idolatrous, an unbelieving woman, unless she believes. A believing woman who is a slave woman is better than an unbelieving woman even if she allows you. That means a Muslim man cannot marry a non-Muslim woman. A woman who does idol worship, who does shirk. Unless she believes, unless she becomes a Muslim, unless she becomes a woman. Because a Muslim, a woman, a believing woman is far better than an unbelieving woman even if she allows you. Means in preference to marry a Muslim woman even if she may be a slave woman. She may be a bond woman. She may be a very poor woman. She may be an ugly woman. If she has faith, she's far superior than an unbelieving woman even if she allows you. She may be the most beautiful woman in the world. She may be the richest woman in the world. Yet, a Muslim, a believing woman who's poor and ugly is far superior than an unbelieving woman. And the same goes vice versa, that a believing woman should not marry an unbelieving man, a mushrik man, until he believes. A believing man, even if he's a slave man, he's far superior to a man who does shirk. Even he may allow you. He may be the most handsome man in the world. He may be the richest man in the world. He may be the king of the country. But a believing man, even if he's poor, even if he's ugly, he's far better in marriage than a mushrik man. So here, because the relationship is concerned, that if you marry a non-Muslim, if you marry a mushrika or a mushrik, your deen is in danger. That's the reason it is prohibited for a Muslim to marry a non-Muslim, marry a mushrik. Otherwise, under normal circumstances, in general dealing, you have to be kind to the non-Muslim.